Here is a Polk PSW 110 subwoofer. And like all of these, the amplifier crapped out. It was a reasonably good subwoofer. 10 inch driver, ported. Not audiophile grade, but uh, good enough for watching some movies. Here's the original amplifier. I had previously replaced a capacitor on the power supply that gave it a little bit of life, but then it started having similar problems again. Here's the replacement. This is a Dayton Audio SA100. Fairly standard issue subwoofer replacement amplifier. The problem is it's not exactly gonna fit. And I knew this when I bought it. I knew I'd have to make some modifications to the cabinet. The question is, you know, what, what do I cut? What do I need to add? The first challenge is there's a baffle right here. And from the baffle to the outer edge is uh, a little over three inches. And then of course the SA100, it wants more like three and a half, somewhere around there. So that means this is too deep to sit flat in here. The good news is the new amplifier fits in one direction. So I won't have to cut there. But this dimension, not so much. Uh, the hole needs to be about a half inch wider. Actually, probably more, probably closer to an inch. It's not gonna clear this. It's not gonna clear these. So I need to, I'm gonna need to take this out, take this out. That'll let the box fit in. That'll let the amp fit into the subwoofer cabinet. But then I'm still gonna need a frame around here to lift the amp out a little bit. So it clears that baffle. All right, the cuts are made. I put the tape down so the saw didn't scratch up the back of the sub, although I probably could have taped the saw instead. And I put a towel in there to catch the dust. And it fits. A little snug. And now we know what kind of frame we're gonna need. Okay, here's a crude fit up. Okay, I got the spots for the screw holes marked off. And with the help of a neighbor, I got 12 screws lined up because I did not have 12 matching. And I guess I still don't, but I'm, I'm closer. I don't want to go too deep and penetrate the cabinet, so it's got to be, I think, just exactly one inch. All right, it's in. Not the most perfect woodworking job, but good enough. I need to sand it and paint it and put it back on and then screw the amp into the frame and connect the wire supports. Should be good to go. Okay, she's painted and installed. I need to seal up the uh, inside uh, seams, I guess, to make sure it's airtight. But yeah, it's, uh, I think it'll work fine for something I won't ever really have to look at. Okay, it's in. Just have to uh, plug it in. And 